Hi friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All of Ev Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today we're going to be swatching all of these lovely polishes. This is part of my Earth Day haul. In that video I mentioned that I was waiting to get some swatch sticks in the mail. I got them in the mail and halfway through making swatch sticks for my Earth Day order I ran out of labeling tape. <laughs> and So I'm doing about half of my order today and I'll come back in another video and do the other half. This is just random. These are just the ones that I had made labels for before I ran out. I will sort them into color families and put links down below in the description box to the individual families. So if you want to see all of the lovely browns, you can check there. If you want to see the blues, you can click on that part and you can go to the part that you're interested in. All right, so first I'm going to do the kind of nude pinky polishes and then I'm going to do the some of the greens that I picked up. I have done a video on how I swatch and kind of why I use the products that I use and my process and so I will link that you know up in the cards if you're interested in seeing that. I also link all the materials that I use um, down in my description box so if you want to see you know, what the label maker is that I use, etc, etc. That is all in my description box. Okay, here's the first coat of Brenna. It's not super pink. It's not as pink as it is in the bottle, but it's a bit more opaque than I expected it to be. So that's pretty cool. Next up is Portia. And I do two coats of every polish. This I explain more in detail in my video, but I do two coats and I do them on top so that I can see what the finish, you know, really looks like. Uh, Portia does look a bit more pink, a little bit more pink than Brenna does. Down there on the white table especially you can see that. And I do two coats of every polish even if it doesn't get all the way opaque because that way I don't have to remember how many coats got it opaque. I just know, you know, how opaque it gets in two coats and if I want to add a third when I actually paint it on my nails I can. But I do all my sticks in two coats, it just makes it a lot easier for me to remember. So there's Dot. Now Frida is a jelly polish, so I think this is one that I'm going to do two coats of and it probably won't be all the way opaque, but that's okay. It's helpful for me to know exactly what it looks like. Oh yeah, this is just like a sheer wash of color on this first coat. Not that green at all, but it is a really pretty kind of teal color. I really enjoy the green color of Frida. This is really pretty. Wow, it looks very vibrant compared to <laughs> these three over here that are so nice and pale. All right, here is Lacey, and I think this is described as a micro shimmer. I want to say that's how they describe the finish on this one, and it's looking much more gold on the nail than I expected. It's not quite as green. It has a lot of gold. It's very pretty. It's looking much more uh, gold on the nail, I think. Uh, I actually really like it. It's kind of pretty. All right, I just realized I had the window open next to my desk, and so maybe a little bit of ambient noise back there on those first few swatches. If so, I apologize. I just closed it. I usually open it when I'm swatching if it's not too cold outside because otherwise I lose my mind in here. Oh wow, this one is a really bright green. In the bottle it looks a little bit more olive, but this looks pretty bright and you can see the silver shimmer on this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera right now, but this is really pretty. I'm really excited about that one so far. Okay, I'm going to race and see. I can change my battery, but my battery is going to die in a second. Let's see if I can get through all of my first coats. Wow, Apple is super sparkly. It's also pretty sheer on this first coat. It has a lot of green glitter in here, but it doesn't look super opaque. So that'll be fun to see how that one builds up. Tangy is kind of a very similar color to Tracy, which I didn't expect. In the bottle, they look a little bit different. Tracy looks a little bit more olivey and Tangy looks more yellow, but right now they're actually looking pretty similar. So those are my first coats. I will let those dry and come back for a second coat and change my battery. All right, I am back for my second coat. I recently got a second battery for my camera. I just bought like an Amazon Basics backup battery and it was like, I don't know, $13 or something. And it was so amazing. It has changed my life because now if it dies, I can just swap it out in the middle of filming. It's incredible. Okay, Brenna, I actually really, really like. This one is super opaque, pretty milky, but 
it looks much more opaque than I expected given what a kind of milky sheer polish this is. So I'm, I don't know, I'm really happy with this one. I love getting my polishes on swatch sticks and like I said, I was missing swatch sticks for a little while so I have a bit of a backlog. So I think I'm gonna do a couple videos like this maybe where I can kind of catch up on that backlog and swatch all the things that I need to swatch. So there is Portia. All right, I just tapped the lights down a little bit because I realized it was kind of hard to see the colors. And so I think that's a little bit better. Sometimes it doesn't make the white background as brilliant, but just depending on how much light is in my room. Dot looks a little bit less. I think I had thought Dot was more like a soft baby pink, but it actually seems like it's not. Um, it's a little bit more like a, I don't know what kind of pink this is, but it's more like a super pastel almost like peachy pink so this is not what I thought dot was there are a bit of patches in here so definitely two coats does not get this one all the way opaque next to Brenna dot does look a little bit more pink uh but just like one shade all right next up for Frida our friend who is a jelly polish I really like this color and I I'm excited to see how it builds up because this teal is so so pretty I don't wear these super sheer jellies that often. I just, I don't know, they're not, they're not my thing. Zoya came out with the three jellies last summer and last spring and I liked them, but I don't pull for them that often. So Frida is super sheer, even with two coats. Uh, it does have a really nice color. Let me know down below if you wear jellies a lot. I don't, you know, do a lot of glitters usually. And so I think a lot of people wear like really gorgeous jelly sandwiches that I really like to see, but I don't really wear myself. So if you love jellies and you do something other than a jelly sandwich, let me know because I could maybe use some tips. All right, Lacey is kind of weird. I can see why folks didn't love this when it first came out. It's got this like very kind of swampy feel to it. And the micro shimmer in here is pretty, but I don't know that I love it. It's not like stunning on my skin tone. It looks kind of like zombie. So I can see why people didn't love this one. It's definitely not my favorite green from Zoya that I have so far. On the other hand, let's look at Tracy. I'm so excited to see this one build up in two coats. It looks like a green that I am so surprised by. Oh my gosh, look at this. This one's getting opaque pretty easily in two coats. Not a lot of patchiness, not really any patchiness actually. And this green, it's just like a really pretty kind of yellowy early grass green and the silver shimmer gives it just this kind of like glow across the nail. It's really subtle. This is, I feel like I've been sticking it in front of your face all day. That's an Invisibobble, <laughs> which is the most fun product name ever. And if you've never used them before, I bought them at CVS. If I can find them on Amazon, I'll put a link down below, but I bought them at CVS and they are so great, especially if you have like textured hair because they don't pull it, they don't stretch it out and I can put my hair back and it doesn't like totally ruin my curls, which is pretty cool. Okay, Apple probably could use a third coat to get to all the way opaque. Um, I like this one. It doesn't look as fun on the swatch stick as it does in the bottle. In the bottle, I expected it to look a little bit more like Ivanka or something, uh, but it's a little bit sheer on the nails. So I don't know, I'll be curious to see that one swatched. And Tangy, I have no idea what to expect from Tangy. That bottle looks crazy pants. This one is definitely a little bit more sheer than Tracy. So you can really see that like silver shimmer in Tracy is so much more subtle than the super bright yellow shimmer in Tangy. Even though their color is similar, they look super different. Awesome, so I'm gonna let these dry and come back for my next set. I am not gonna make you watch me put top coat on them because that part is real boring. All right, friends, next up we are looking at some blues, some, I don't know, like yellowy, pinky sparkly ones and then some pink creams. This is my second group here. First up we have Juvia which is one of their uh, neon polishes. This is from the Ultra Brights collection and I have not worn very many of Zoya's neons uh, but I've heard their formulas are a little bit sheer which this looks to be living up to and I'm kind of curious. I may need to swatch them on white bases. So I'm gonna do some research and I'll do some kind of testing out before I actually swatch and review them, but I have them all now. And so I'm really excited to figure out kind of the best way to wear them. 
Dylan looks really pretty. This like tealy base is really gorgeous. This shimmer in here works really, really well. Like this is kind of what I wanted a mirror to be. I think the gold shimmer works really well with the kind of green tealy base that they picked. Next up is Moshin, and I really love this one in the bottle, but I think on the nail, I've seen that this one has kind of a funky base color, like it's too clear, you want it to be a little bit more blue, but I think this is supposed to be a topper, so that's probably why, and so I'm excited to see kind of how this builds up. You probably can't even see anything in the viewfinder here, right? Like, okay, there's some sparkles. That's it, it looks really boring <laughs> in the viewfinder. Down here, it looks a little more blue, but there's honestly not a ton of glitter in here. So we'll see if a second coat builds it up a little bit more. All right, here is Carrie. It is basically just gold glitter, like tiny gold glitter suspended in a clear base, I think. I mean, it's super dense, so you can't really tell that there's a clear base in here, but it's very yellow gold, which is not my preferred shade of gold. Here is Tinsley. And I feel really bad. I feel like my excitement over these polishes is just not what it's going to be for the greens that I just did. <laughs> but that's okay. They're all beautiful. I just like some of them more than others. Tinsley, for example, is really pretty. This one kind of looks like a sunset. It's like pink and gold. This one's really nice. It reminds me a lot of Faye, but Faye's just like a little bit more purple. And this one's a little bit more pink, it seems like. All right, Brynn is a very pretty kind of bright pink cream. I don't wear pink that often. This one, wow, that formula is fabulous. That is one coat of this polish. And it is super opaque, so creamy. I'm super impressed. I feel like after swatching these like weird toppers, <laughs> I'm really excited to get back to my lovely creams. And Jolene is even more of a cool toned pink. It has even less kind of red brightness in it. The formula on this one is a little bit thinner and waterier than in Brin, just a little bit. Like you can see, I have some patchiness. So this one would definitely need two coats on your nails, whereas Brin seems like you might be able to get away with one. All right, and I'm just gonna go back over to Juvia. I'll do my second coat kind of right away. I don't really need to wait on this point in time. I am curious to see how this one builds up. It is building up more than say like a jelly polish and I am getting a lot of, I don't know, I didn't have enough polish on my brush, that was weird. I am getting like a lot of that brightness in here. I can see the neon for sure. I don't know, it is evening out as it dries. I, maybe I'll try this with white undies and then a maybe a third coat on the nails. If you've worn the Ultra Brights and you feel like you've figured out how to wear them, definitely let me know because I would love some pointers before I try to figure them out this summer. They've been out for a while. I don't remember when they were released, but definitely several years ago. So I'm sure a lot of you have worn them and figured out how to make them work for you. Oh, Dylan is just as pretty in its second coat as it is in its first coat. I really like this. I like the sparkle in there. It really works really well with that green base. The two complement each other very well. All right, Moshin, let's see what you can do in two coats, buddy. All right, it definitely looks more sparkly. Let's see if I can zoom in if that will help. Okay, you can see Moshin better now. It looks like, I like that the bar glitter in here is not huge. You know, it's like kind of short pieces of bar glitter. And I don't know, I don't get very much blue. You know, it's pretty clear. And it looks like the glitters are... I don't know, they're really pretty, but they're not as blue as I expected them to be either. So I'm not sure, I will think about what kind of colors I wanna to top this over. Kissy is one that I think actually does like build up on its own. Twilla, the other kind of blue bar glitter also builds up on its own. This one seems like it's not really gonna ever build up to opacity, which is fine, it's definitely a topper. All right, here we go for Carrie. And this one reminds me of Gold Gumdrop that I have from Palette Polish. I swatched it back in kind of December. It's not totally full coverage, but it's so like sparkly and blingy that you can't really tell that there are spots that aren't fully covered. Uh, and it's just kind of small micro gold glitter. So this one is really pretty and really blingy if that's what you're into. All right, and let's go back to our second coat of the sunset here. All right, this one looks like it's a little bit sheer, but not like it is uneven or patchy. I think this one looks, uh, like I said, like a sunset that is just so stunning. And I love that I feel like this one looks on the nail just like it does in the bottle. Like that matches perfectly. 
it's it's great i love it when that happens because i think sometimes especially like shimmery polishes like this can be a little disappointing on the nail sometimes but this looks just like it does in the bottle and i love it all right i will do a second coat of brin because as you know by now i do two coats on all of my swatch sticks but this one really doesn't need it it is super opaque and oh my goodness look at that it's so smooth and so creamy i just love love creams that's so wonderful <laughs> Oh, okay, great. It's good to know what you like. You know, you gotta try some other things so you know for sure what you like. All right, and I bet Jolene will get opaque in this second coat. Yep, this one is like a bubblegum pink. It reminds me of Double Bubble. You know, it's like cool and creamy. This one's really pretty. And so that is Jolene at two coats. Here are Jolene and Brynn just up a little bit closer to each other. You can see Brynn is a little bit kind of more... I was gonna say a little bit pinker. Nope, they're both pink. <laughs> Brynn is like a little bit more fuchsia, like a little bit more hot pink. And Jolene is definitely a cooler toned pink. I, I really like them both. I think it's nice how different they are. All right, fabulous. So here is this set. I'm gonna put top coat on and then I will come back and we will do my last set, which are the browns. I am gonna dive in and start swatching some of these browns. This first one is Farah, And this one is kind of a brown, kind of a just like, creamy tan polish it is much lighter and wow that formula is gorgeous that is pretty much opaque in one coat i do like how kind of taupey this is uh, it's a very very light brown if this one is considered a brown still and not like a cream or a tan all right here is flynn and flynn reminds me of like a cafe au lait color like it just has it's like coffee with a little bit of milk. It's very, very soft and very creamy. I like this one a lot, or maybe like coffee ice cream. I like this one a lot. I think it's probably really nice in the fall time. All right, Dia I'm really curious about, especially for my skin tone, because it's very warm toned. It has like a lot of red in it without being, you know, like a purple brown, like Debbie. Like it's very, very warm toned. I think it's really pretty, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it on my skin tone. I tend to not like kind of more red toned nudes. So I don't know how I'll feel about this one, but I do think it's really pretty and I like how different it is from the other browns in Zoya's collection. All right, here is Amelia. And this one is a little bit more of like a gray brown. It is not warm toned, it's not yellow toned. This one's definitely much more kind of gray or even green toned. I'm not sure if green's the right tone, but it's a little bit cooler, a little bit more neutral, I think. All right, and now Louise kind of reminds me of like a yellow toned brown almost. It's really interesting and definitely different from the others that I'm swatching here. All right, I'm gonna go back to Farah for a second coat. These kind of creamy colors that have a lot of, you know, kind of gray taupiness to them, I really like to wear, especially in the fall. They're kind of my go-to nude for that time of year. That and some of these like deeper browns, like I feel like I'm really gonna enjoy wearing Amelia in the fall. Flynn though does look super warm and kind of like, I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm like gonna wrap up in a blanket or something. <laughs> it looks really nice. And this formula is really great. It's getting opaque in two coats. I mean, that's not really surprising with Zoya, but worth mentioning. Yeah, this one's almost like caramely. You know, it just feels warm and cozy. I like that one. All right, Dia, like I said, I'm not sure that I'm gonna love this one on my skin tone. It's a really pretty color, and I feel like I don't see browns this color often, but I think on my skin tone, there's a little bit too much red here for this to be... I don't know, very attractive on me. Uh, if you have Dia and you love it, let me know because I would be curious to see, you know, on which skin tones this is more flattering than it will be on mine. I, I like it. It is really different, but I don't think that it's going to be the most flattering for me. All right, here we go. Amelia again has this kind of gray, almost a little bit of green undertone to it when you compare it to the others. This one's really pretty. At least, in my opinion. <laughs> I, I like these kind of weird colors, though. So there's Amelia. All right, and here's Louise. This reminds me of, like, I don't know, fudge or something. Like, it's super warm, super kind of rich, and really pretty. All right, here are Amelia and Louise. And I think you can probably tell here with them next to each other what I mean by Amelia being, like, a gray-brown. 
All right, awesome. That was my last set. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Maybe there's a polish here that you hadn't seen before that you are excited about. If so, let me know down below. And like I said, I have some other Earth Day haul polishes that I need to swatch. And when I get my tape in, I will film another video doing that. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you so much. I can't wait to see you the next time that we sit down to hang out and chat about nail polish. Bye.